in this video we're tackling the very very serious subject where can you get the best fish and chips in Porth Court? Hello and welcome, and Hello. look who's joined me today. Me! Getting rather wet. <laughs> yeah. Drizzled on. Anyway, there's only one place to get proper fish and chips, and that's by the, by the seaside. By the seaside. There's nothing better <laughs> than sitting <laughs> in the rain. In the rain. <laughs> we were planning to do this sitting on the beach, but as you can see, it's not the best day today. No. But it's, like I said, there's nothing better than sitting by the seaside, fighting off the seagulls yeah. while you tuck into fish and chips, doused in salt and vinegar. Vinegar, lot salt and vinegar, and ketchup. So over the next few weeks, we'll be trying the chip shops around our hometown, the seaside resort of Porthcore exactly. on the South Wales coast. By the way, if you tuned in to watch me walking somewhere, <laughs> I will be doing plenty of those in the future. It's a walk into the chip shop. <laughs> yeah, I'll That's need cool. you to work off all these uh, extra calories from the fish and chips. We'll be ordering the same in each chip shop. There'll be fish and chips uh -huh. and a curry sauce. For you. And it's, we'll be comparing. I wrote it down. Oh, well done. <laughs> so we're, we're consistent. Uh, the price, the, price yeah. the portion size, yeah. the presentation, uh -huh. of course the taste. The taste is important. And okay. then we'll give an overall score out of 10. Okay. So anyway, time to get started. Come on, I'm um, hungry. Because it's wet, we're going to the closest one to us. It's the one on the seafront called the Boathouse. Regular chips, £2.40. Cod, £5.10. They do meal deals there. And I think I'll opt for the Irish curry sauce. And for you vegans, there's quite a choice of vegan pies there. It's quite small in there and people want serving, so I've come out. But this place does have a restaurant attached. So when things start to return to normal, you can sit in there. So Mel, how much were the fish and chips and the curry sauce? Uh, £9 in total, fish and chips for £7.50. Okay. Just to clarify, fish and chips on their own, £7.50 and curry sauce, £1.50. So we're off. We're off, I'm excited. Change of plan, down the beach. Okay, Let's go. go. It's a big bit of fish. So it's cod and chips mm -hmm. and a slice of lemon. You have to have it in the wrappers. Okay. She's not happy. I'm not happy. We're sitting on a cold, wet bit of concrete on the beach. And here come the seagulls. Can you hear them? Oh, sugar. Right. Can I start? Yeah, start. There's the curry sauce. Mm. Irish curry. It's leaked a bit. So, the, the colour of the chips, I would say, are quite pale, but they're still cooked. Of salt and vinegar on them. Plenty of salt and vinegar, yeah, that's yeah, very good. Nice. And I know I would use my fingers, but where I am, I'm using forks. Yeah. We did have wooden forks in there. Mmm. They're nice, you like it. Oop. Now, the fish. The fish looks very good. It's a very big piece of fish. Very crispy batter. 
Thumbs up so far. Mm. Mm. That's really nice actually. They've given us plenty of curry sauce. Mm. The batter isn't too greasy. They, I mean, they cooked it fresh to order. And just look at where we're sitting on the front beach in January. Very good. Mm. So that's an Irish curry sauce, is it? Yeah. I've had fish and chips in the boathouse before, and this is some of the best fish and chips I've had there. I think this is really good today. I think because uh, it's all cooked to order today. Yeah, yeah. I think they cook the fish to order anyway, don't they? But it seems one of the nicest I've had there. Very, very good. There's not much left, Mel. Mm. Was it? Was I supposed to leave you, Seb? Mmm. I think I'm quite full now, actually. <laughs> I might leave you a few chips. What do you think of the curry sauce, Marcus? Nice. Quite sweet. Quite sweet. So that's an Irish curry sauce. Mm. And I, I double checked, and she said there was no sultanas in it. I know you don't like things like that in your curry sauce. I think a lot of curry sauces seem to taste like that Festa curry sauce you used to get years ago. Yeah. Does it taste like that? A bit more, a bit more <laughs> you got curry all over your face. A bit more explanation about the curry sauce would, wouldn't go amiss. Well, typical chip shop curry sauce. Nice nasty. <laughs> Why is it nice nasty? It doesn't really have any resemblance to anything. From a curry shop, no, but. It's like a bit like a katsu curry sauce, would you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, it's like that, I think. Mm. A very simple curry sauce. It would be nice if we, if it was a bit we nicer weather. If the rain stopped. Yippee. It's not too cold today. I've got a wet bum. <laughs> it's too much information for our <laughs> vlog, our viewers. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the weather. That's my age. <laughs> So, ooh, that looks nice. Don't be too worried. We're not becoming a food channel. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> I will be walking around Fourth Core. When, when things are back... Looking for old things. When things are back to normality. It would be nice to go to some nice restaurants though, wouldn't it? Mm. We do actually eat in some really nice restaurants, but we never vlog it. So that was the boathouse on the seafront in Porth Core. Mm. So quickly going over the categories again. One at the price, mm -hmm. seven pound fifty for the fish and chips. Which is oh, it was cod, wasn't it? Cod. Cod. Yeah. It was cod. Fair, fair price. The portion size. Well, that was a regular chips, and I I thought it was quite large actually. Yeah, it was um, a decent size. Good a decent size. size. Yeah. This is, and, the, and the fish was bigger than I expected actually. Yeah. So I thought it was a decent size portion. So the next thing, uh, the presentation. Well, you know, just for fish and chips <laughs> yeah, in, the, yeah. in, the, in the carton. It was in so. a box, it was handy to eat from. Yeah, it was handy to eat yeah. from the box. Like in the olden days, you used to have The only extra you got was a, a slice of lemon. Yeah. But even that's exotic for Porth Court. <laughs> yeah. and I don't know if they had tartar sauce. Yeah, it yeah. may have. I'm not sure. And of course, the taste. I think it was, it was, it was nice. Maybe and brown on the chips but yeah. that's just that's personal, personal preference yeah really. and they had plenty of salt and vinegar yeah you have to have salt and vinegar definitely and it's so it's uh, overall the score old, overall score mark out of an arbitrary <laughs> score out of 10 so let's count down three two one eight eight out yeah i'll give it eight eight yeah, yeah i agree with that eight out of ten very good it was very nice actually now i feel quite full and a bit but that's nothing to do with the fish and chips. <laughs> it was very good. So anyway, that's our first uh, chip shop review. There's at least five or six in Porth Yeah. So over the next few weeks, randomly, when we get the chance and I'm not walking around. Hopefully a bit better weather than this. We'll try them out. Yeah. And it's, 
as we start to move into spring, the weather will improve. And of course, this is just our personal <laughs> yeah. taste, our personal preference. And it's you may... our opinion. Yeah, you may have a favourite. Yeah, we're not sponsored, we paid for everything. Yeah. And we're not affiliated with any chip and shop. And we're probably going to put on about half a stone over the yeah. next two months. <laughs> eating all the fish and chips. So, until next time, don't forget to catch up with us in one of our other videos coming up at the end. We'll see you next time. Yes. We better Bye. go before those seagulls start swooping. I know, they're beating each other. Here come the seagulls, go! Oh, <laughs>